Coach, just overall thoughts on the performance? I thought it was good. Um, guys did a nice job coming down here, you know, go on the road in the heat, uh, come down and kind of pretty much have a pretty dominating performance. I thought we were, uh, until late in the game, I thought we were we were pretty on it on all three phases. Um, like the effort level, like the attention to detail. Um, appreciated uh, Utah Tech playing hard till the end, which gave our guys that were in there a test. And, and uh, you know, it was a good football game for us. You're up 22 nothing, and you had the punt that you pinned on the one yard line, and then three and out, and Bergen houses the punt. I mean, the style you want to play, how perfect is that in terms of execution? Well, it's nice when you can you can get some plays in the in the kicking game, and and usually we feel that if you can pin them back there and get a three and out, that it's points. However, however you're going to get them, and obviously another uh, another special teams touchdown. This has kind of become unique, and the kids in there are doing a really nice job of you know year in year out um, taking the reins and, and making stuff happen. So. That was a good play. What, 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 go, what goes into that? I mean, you guys score as many special teams touchdowns as anybody in the country. Um, you know, I really think it's uh, the guys understand that it's important and they can make a difference, and then they're 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 detailed in their work. You know, they they're disciplined, they detail their work, and and uh, they make those plays that they get important. I know you always emphasize turning, taking turnovers and turning them into points. You guys did that three different times tonight. How important is that? Well, takeaways are, are big in every football game, and, and uh, you know, obviously, this game was no exception. Um, it's nice when you can get the ball and go down the field. Certainly, when you're getting them kind of towards midfield or in their end, you get a, you get a big advantage in terms of the field position game. So, I thought we did did a pretty good job of that as well. What do you think? What do you think about? Some of the uh, the execution and kind of fixing some of those things, and especially kind of in that first half, it seemed like wanted to have that mentality of kind of running the ball and, and being efficient. Well, the numbers would say we did a good job. I'll have to watch the film to see if that's true. Um, you know, our, our, our guys did a good job. Today. Backtracking to the uh, takeaways, Trevin Gradney had two today, and he had one. He got three on the year now. What's the what does it mean to have a guy like that having such an impact early on in the season? Well, again, it's good to it's good to have him come up with the ball, and you know I'm quite proud of him because he's a guy that uh, that was not his strength, and he's turned it into a strength. He plays the ball very well. Uh, that's good to see. Hope he can keep it going. Rotating on the right side of that offensive line is that just sort of a testament to the the depth there on the offensive front? Yeah, it was hot out. We decided we we're going to play guys. So, I mean, it's no more complex than that. Why did you guys? start uh, McDowell today and what did you make of his performance? Uh, well, because we had planned to start him. Uh, how long we've, we've, we've had a plan in place and uh, we had planned to start him in this game and I thought he did a good job. I, I watched the film. He threw the ball a lot more than last week. How intentional was that in the game plan heading in? Um, well, I, we, we call it how we call it, you know. We, we have a plan that we go into the game and, um, and we operate off that whatever that plan is. Uh, in tonight's case, that was to uh, try to be balanced and, and that ain't, you know, if you're going to be balanced, you got to throw it. When you're up by that much at halftime, what's the, I mean, maybe not difficulty, but what's it like when you're, you know, you're going to be a little bit more conservative on offense, play a lot of guys, but you still, you know, don't want to, you know, take the aggressiveness away, I guess? Um, well, yeah, be aggressive and go play. Uh, I think we needed to, you know, go out there and go fast pace and chuck it down the field every play. You know, some do. Um, you know, we had hoped that we could get another one on the board and then play a bunch of guys, which is mission accomplished. I think that you know, college football plays are invaluable. These guys work really hard. All of them. It's not just the starters work harder than everybody else. It's everybody in that in that locker room works the same. They work their tails out. From when you get a chance to get them in the game, give them a chance to play, it's a big deal to them and their coaches. And great to have them in the game. You taught Deck through for a bunch of yards last year and, and early on this year too. So how did you think you guys did pass defense wise? Um, well, we had some breakdowns 
it was it was really good for the most part. Um, There's a couple of completions in the middle of the field on third down where we should have looked them up, probably not allowed those. And then we had a, um, two multiple vertical routes that we let go, which is was not very good. But for the most part, it was good. And Riley Wilson rushing the passer, he, he seems like he's got a lot of juice coming off the edge. Yeah, off the edge or in the big gap or wherever, he's got a lot of juice. You guys were four or six on third downs in the first half. Why do you think you guys had success? On that, those downs. Uh, good game plan and good execution. Just yeah. looking through your, your first pick, I mean, <laughs> pretty good recovery and yeah. uh, pretty good interception. Um, yeah, I honestly didn't think it was going to come to me, um, but I, I, uh, that was kind of a long time ago. I, um, yeah, I kind of jammed him out of bounds, and I turned around and it was kind of right there, and I just kind of reached up. I probably should have reached up with both hands. I got to see it, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, it was just a good play. You reached up with one. Did I? You got a one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, you forced the fumble. So now that, I mean, that's three three turnovers forced in a couple games. Like, what is it? What does it feel like to kind of, you know, make those, uh, you know, big plays like that? Yeah. Um, I mean, awesome, obviously, right? Um, but I I think just just doing my job and trying to trying to help the team win has been, been the best part for me. Um, I mean, Obviously, those things are fun to do, but um, yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I got to keep going. That, that fumble specifically, you know, it was after a big catch and yeah. you came back and got, like, could you walk through that, you know, yeah. like sticking with the play there? Um, yeah, we were actually, I think we were trying to be in cover two there, kind of got four verts on us and I saw him scramble. So I turned around and saw him, saw zero. Zero was kind of on me all game. So that was, that was cool to get to get my hand in there. And I just kind of ripped it out and then Tio got on it. It was cool, it was good. What was the mentality coming into this one? Um, it seemed like you guys kind of came out, you know, kind of with a purpose early. Yeah. I mean, obviously you saw the neighbors playing last week. I think everybody was kind of comparing us to them and, and trying to, you know, whatever. But yeah, it, it, we had a different mentality. I playing night game on the road, just, we, we knew that they were, they were gonna come out with, with some fiery, fiery things. And um, yeah, I think we did a good job in handling what they had and just just trying to be us, trying to build our brand of football for sure. Coach Yark always preaches capitalizing on opportunities. Mm -hmm. You guys scored touchdowns on three of your turnovers. Yeah. So I mean, as a defensive guy, how gratifying is that to see the yeah. offense punch it Obviously, in? isn't that great, right? That's that's what that's what you want to do as a defense is trying to get the ball back for the offense to, to score touchdowns. And they've, they've done a great job of that. So I'm very, very blessed and thankful for that as well, so yeah. When your offense scores 36 points and a half, what's the feeling like for you guys as defenders watching that? And how does that influence you when you get back out there yeah. on the field? Um, so they scored 36 points in that half, but we didn't give up any points in that half. And the mentality in the locker room was we're not going to give up any more points, but obviously it didn't happen that way. It's hard to do that in college football, but um, yeah, it was it was still on go in the locker room. We were, we were still trying to hype each other up and make sure that no points got on the board, but that's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll bounce back. We'll be all right. Yep. Nick Osmo, fire away. All right, kind of, kind of back like you never left. How did it feel to kind of get out there and run around again? You know, it was good. Just uh, trying to pick up off where, uh, what we've done this uh, whole fall camp and just trying to get in there and do the best I can. I mean, you guys ran the ball 57 times. What was kind of, I imagine that was kind of a mentality coming in, like, hey, we're going to you know, want to be physical up front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, every game we kind of are emphasizing being physical up front and knocking people off the ball and uh, not letting one person take us down. So I think that uh, the whole offense is, uh, the offense as a whole really emphasize that tonight. The two big ones you popped are both on the right side. Is there anything to that? What would you see? Um, so the first one was a right side call. The second one was actually a left sided call that it just kind of looked open. I, I actually went through on the left and then uh, it was open on the right, so that's kind of why I ended up on the right. But, uh, you know, both sides of the line are doing great. That's why uh, I had one on each side, one of the long ones, and um, they the O-line really opened up the field for me to just kind of get out and run. Quite a few rotations on the right side of the line, too. You see in Grimsrud and Brown at the guard spot, Casey and Pam Kloff on the right tackle spot. More depth on the offensive line, I guess, is the question. How much does that help you? 
Um, to be honest, I don't even know. I don't really. I don't even really know who's in. Honestly, um, I'm more worried about the play call and all that stuff. Kind of nervous. So, uh, but yeah, it's good to have depth, and those guys did great tonight. And uh, like I said before, they just knocked people off the ball and opened up full source. That second touchdown, you said you kind of saw some open up there that led to that 46-yard scamper. What exactly did you see there? And did you could you see the end zone like from the line? Um, so. At first, I just saw our tight end, Evan, coming across the line, and um, I was just like, I'm going to follow him. He's a big dude, so I followed him, and then uh, Sawyer had a good block on the corner, and then it was just green grass from there, so I just tried to scamper to the end zone, like you said. How, how you guys, sad is it? Go you, you, turned, you turned three t turnovers into points. How important is that for the style you guys want to play? Uh, yeah, it's important. You know, you always want to capitalize off of uh, – good plays that we make on the defensive side of the ball. So uh, it's good that we could uh, turn those into points. I mean, you scored 36 in the first half, you know, obviously kind of put it on cruise control after that, but how happy were you with the offensive performance tonight? Um, I thought we got off to a, a good start, you know, on the road uh, for the first time this season. We were uh, really emphasizing uh, getting off to a fast start, and I think we did that, and I think we did a good job. First time playing with Clifton McDowell in a game, what would you say he's added to the offense this year? Um, you know, we've played with him throughout all of the uh, fall camp and stuff. I think that uh, he has the ability to run pretty well, and he uh, shows that at points. And I think that, uh, you know, he's just a, a good leader. That's what you need in a quarterback. Do you guys have that running quarterback? Do you notice that help you guys as running backs in any way? Yeah, it takes a, it takes a little bit of the um, – the defensive the defense's eyes off of you a little bit when they know there's another threat back there.